Hi guys, this is Prince of 14 and today is going to be a very special vlog because I finally got my UAE driving license. So on that occasion, we're actually going and picking up a car and uh, after that we are going to go to Pupil of Fate, the same showroom which I visited in my last vlog because over there that's the starting point of the Supercars Majlis uh, launch drive. So this is the new season opening event that they're having and about 100 supercars are going to be coming there and then from there all the cars are going to be heading to Abu Dhabi to the Yas Marina circuit so yeah we are going to drive all the way to Abu Dhabi today so I'm quite excited so let's go pick up the car station and now we'll have to take a taxi because the car rental company is about three kilometers away from here so let's get there guys we got a really good upgrade so i was renting out the mercedes e300 oh wow we just have a mclaren 720 years that's going matte black that's sick this is the best thing about Dubai, like unexpectedly you can just spot some supercars. So I had rented out the Mercedes E300 but then sadly that wasn't available. So I got a free upgrade and just see what car I got. It's the all new BMW 420i convertible. The all new 4 series convertible. That's sick. Just look at the color. Oh, we have the McLaren 720s which is just coming here. Damn, that looks sick. But I'm so excited guys, a convertible and we're going to go all the way to Abu Dhabi and this is actually a good uh, media car as well because we can put the roof down and get some really cool shots of the supercars that are going to be there on the rally. So I'm quite excited, stay tuned because it's going to be a long and an exciting day ahead. Here we go, wow. We definitely need navigation in Dubai and better than Google Maps, I found this app called Waze which is quite better than Google Maps what I feel because it also tells you which lane you have to maintain on the road if you want to take turn a right. left or a right. Then turn right on Algerina Street. It also says this and it also tells you if there is a speed camera that's coming up ahead. So even that is pretty cool. So yeah, this is the BMW 420i convertible. So it's got the 2 litre petrol engine, the turbocharged petrol engine. That churns out about 185 horsepower. Which is quite... Oh wow, okay. It's got some power. Miss an exit, it was exit 53 but I took exit 52. So now there is a small detour of around 2 kilometers. So actually before heading to Pupil of Fate, I have some work at the office so I've come here and I've parked the car here and I have about 10 minutes so I'll just take you around the car. So guys we have the BMW 420i convertible over here and it's in a shade called Imperial Blue Brilliant Metallic and the shade is indeed brilliant. We have the beautiful 18 inch alloys right here. The new front fascia when it was initially launched the enthusiasts had any debates if it actually looks good but honestly saying even i even i didn't like it when it was launched but now it is slowly growing on me and you have the huge bonnet over here which looks stunning and you have the classic cabriolet style over here from the side on the rear also you have the 420i badging even the number plate is quite good and it's got the soft top so I actually want to you know convert it I still haven't converted it yet so let's try it out okay well it doesn't have soft load of course so here and I have to pull this up I think Oh wow, guys, this is crazy. Having a convertible in Dubai is pretty sick. But then the heat kills you. But 
Wow, just look at this guys. <laughs> this is crazy. Converted it. Let's check out the car from outside now. How it looks when the roof is down. Just look at this. This looks sick. Wow. So I've sat inside. And if I want to reach the seat belt, it is so far, right? But now it is being delivered to me. That is so cool. It's time to close the roof again. I mean, Dubai is a very safe place. There are so many videos that have gone viral where the car is, the, the convertible is open and they leave some valuable things inside. And when they come back after three or four hours, the thing is still there. I mean, I don't want to try that with my expensive camera equipment behind. Now over here in Dubai, you have to pay for your car parking, of course. So I was just figuring how to do that. So it's quite easy from the RTA app. So I've just paid for three hours of parking and it has costed me nine dirhams. And over here, it actually shows me how much time duration is left, which is pretty good. Let's check out the interior also. I mean, I'm a big, big fan of this tan interior in any car and it complements well with the dark blue exterior. You have the full display over here, the instrument cluster and the infotainment system and the screen is huge for Apple CarPlay as you can see. I mean, it's so huge. It's like a TV inside. Over here, you have this brushed aluminium design. Over here, you have the traction control button, the 360-degree camera, you have the parking sensors, you have the auto engine turn-off feature, you have the start engine stop button over here, you have the three different modes, Sport, Comfort and Eco Pro. So, I was driving it in Comfort mode because it's a new car for me right now. So, I was just trying it out, but hopefully on the way to Abu Dhabi, let's kick in some Sport mode and experience that. It's got the electronic um, parking brake and this is the button this is the switch to convert the car and it's got the and over here it's got the controls to control the me, me infotainment system over here so as you can see this is the home screen and this is also touch screen by the way you have the exact car picture over here and you can just check everything over here the tire pressure is low okay we'll just check that out baki everything is all good system which is incredible it's got the memory seats as well one hour later made it to cupola of fame and let's check out the cars that have come oh wow this sto is beautiful just look at this sto AMG GTR Black Series. Oh, we have BU Mayus McLaren 720S, which is now resprayed with this beautiful blue shade, which looks stunning. Many more cars coming up. Stay tuned. Let's set up the camera and let's check out what cars are coming. Come inside the showroom to check out some cars. I mean, all the cars were there the last time I visited. So let's head outside. Now. Guys, look what just showed up. The brand new. 992 GT3 RS. Oh my god, this thing on the street looks unreal compared to the showroom. Wow, this is just crazy. So, guys, we are just checking out the cars here, and unexpectedly, there's a Chiron that has just been parked casually on the side. <laughs> Let's go check out the Chiron. A 296 GTB. Oh my god, that Chiron is just crazy. Whoa! <laughs> so parked beside the GT3 is this beautiful Bugatti Chiron. And what a spec on this thing. The exposed red carbon complemented with this white color, this dual tone. And the interiors also look stunning inside. It looks so, so, so clean. Check this out. So we have Monish with his stage 2 GTI Club Sport. And 
you have the Chiron right there that's coming out. insane now all the members are getting ready getting up and sitting in their cars and even we should leave now so let's go so guys all the cars are lining up as you can see wow that Maybach S650 V12 looks stunning in that emerald green shade madness that Senna is also oh my god this is just Supercar heaven right here guys oh, The AMG GTR The paint on this thing is just sick Amazing, what a paint, what a paint Aris in Python green The Senna right here So hi guys, we are back in our BMW 420i convertible and we are joined with Vedant, Sup. aka Ariel Bhai. <laughs> <laughs> Do follow his Instagram for some sick car content. We have a pair of GT3 is going. The blue one and the crayon grey. So guys, you can see the colour of the tarmac has changed. So we have entered Abu Dhabi and the speed limit is 140. And we cannot exceed that even by one kilometer an hour. If we do, we get a fine. So first time driving in Abu Dhabi. Guys, we have reached Yas Island. You can see a 992 GT3 in front of us, and this is the circuit on our right side. 300 meters. Turn right, then turn right. All the cars are here. The way that guy just took delivery from Pupil of Fate and he's directly got it on the track. <laughs> we just got done with our registrations and we got the band, so this is how we can enter inside the event. So it's five o'clock, so we still have an hour till the track opens up. So all the cars are just parked up, so let's have a look at the cars now. I give you a walk around first I'll get myself something to eat because I'm starving since morning so let's see what we have to eat I mean the Sian looks stunning in this satin black this was featured in my last vlog at people of fate and even this is the same GT3 RS so guys we have chicken teriyaki burger with some insane view how's that so let's start with this Lamborghini Sian, one of 63 in the entire world. Over here we have the 992 GT3 RS, we have MG GT Black Series over here with the Project 1 livery. We have a very special car here as well, it's the, the KTM Expo right here, one of 100, completely made up of carbon fiber and just look at the way this thing opens, such a unique car. We have the 296 GTB. We have another black series over here. Matte black. Wow. And, and we have the Ferrari 488 Pista right here. Probably belongs to the same owner. Over here we have a 600 LT. A Ferrari 458. A Huracan Performante. 720s and it's got a very special wrap on this as well if you can see the glitters inside the wrap 
we have the 720s which previously used to be in orange but now it's been resprayed it's got the rift parts and the rift exhaust we have the california over here we have another black series uh, f8 so that's the gtr pro this is also another gtr pro we have the 812 gts we have the new mclaren artura another 296 we have the huracan evo or california e over here we have the 765 lt another stu we have many stus over here but the shade on this looks so unique <laughs> another black series we have probably like five gt black series a uh, gt3 a super loud gt3 rs a pair of gt3 rs actually but this one's the loudest another sto we have the porsche cayman gt4 rs we have the turbo s we have the turbo s over here there we have a uh, etihad back to the cars we have the all new lamborghini huracan technica another sto in a very interesting shade over here we have we have like two amg gt black series project one with this project one livery a gt3 over here we have the 458 speciale a turbo s another artura the maserati mc20 another gt another huracan sto we have sterling's r8 behind that we have the 650s we have the gt3 hires we have another f8 <laughs> this is just crazy we have like over we have like over 100 supercars over here this is a mega mega event that's happening we have a 720s in this volcano red shade gt3 another gt3 another gt3 this is the gt3 rs this is apparently middle east first 992 gt3 rs and it's actually owned by the same owner who gt2 rs had sat in and back in 2019 uh, at the Asmarina circuit so i'll have the link of that video down in the description check it out and he still has that car and now he has the gt3 rs as well a portofino let's go check it out over there we have a 488 gtb a 296 the f8 another 488 with a spoiler we have the Weissart package gt2 rs we have the aston martin vantage another ferrari 812 gts sto's over here it's just crazy we have a 458 we have the urus oh the lovely shade on this urus by the way gt3 another gt3 so yeah this was the cars i think about half an hour more till the cars head to the track it's going to be heaven again all these cars going at the maximum speeds is going to be a very good experience and we finally have the ferrari 812 competizione it's crazy wow we have the 812 competition finally <laughs> just look at the number crazy the cars i think about half an hour more till the cars head to the track it's going to be heaven again all these cars going at the maximum speeds is going to be a very good experience guys right, all the cars are heading to the track as you can see this is, this is the best view ever Look at this. Wow. 
That was just insane. I got to experience two cars on the track. One was the Audi R8 V10 Plus. I got to experience like three or four laps. And in the all new Porsche Cayman GT4 RS, we did like 15 laps. And we were racing with the 992 GT3 and the Black Series. And that was an epic, epic experience. So, yes, guys, so now we will head back to Dubai. This was it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe and stay tuned for my next video because we're going to go back to Dubai and do some car spotting over there. So yeah, see you guys. Bye bye.